Well, Coach, uh, seven touchdowns in the fourth <laughs> quarter. I guess, as you've said before, the cardiac cats are back. Yeah, what a dramatic ending to a well of a game. Um, you know, we thought at halftime we pretty much had control of the game. We did. We had got got the ball first series, the second half, and really offensively we laid an egg in the third quarter and and didn't uh, establish any kind of rhythm in the third quarter and let them, um, you know, get back in the game with a couple of scores and, and credit them. We knew that they were not going to quit. They were a very well coached team, play hard, and they, they were going to fight for, for four quarters, and we knew what we were getting into. So we, we weren't shocked. And then the fact that our guys could, you know, get behind a couple of times and then with a minute and 16 to go, Ben take us to the length of the field and, and uh, score was, and it's something that we work on every day. We've got a minute to go, and, and he's calling. He called that whole series. That was his, that was his, uh, his series. I said, you know, I told him right after the, uh, the kickoff, I said, Ben, we do it every day. Let's go do it. And sure enough, he, he, uh, he led us down there, and, and we got the big catch in the end zone by DeMario. And, and uh, what a game, what a credit, what a, what a uh, tribute to some young men who fight and come to work every day and just uh, bless their heart. They've had a lot of adversity in the last month and a half, but they persevered, and, and I think that we're well on our way to having a great uh, conference run. And I was talking with Ben after the game. I, you know, I was wondering if he was calling his plays because I noticed from up in the booth, they put single coverage on DeMario, and I thought, you got to keep going to him, or that's the guy to go to. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, he did. Yeah. A couple plays of Rito, but especially those first couple and then the touchdown. You know, he was reading what the defense was giving him, and, and yeah. you can't single cover any of your run, or your wide receivers, no. and that's a problem for any defense now. Absolutely, and, and you know, you want the guy, you want the ball in that guy's hands at the end of the game and letting him do it, and that's that's what we did, and, and he's, you know, he's, he's going to ride the whole way home thinking about the mistakes he made, yeah. but he led us to victory, and he's that kind of quarterback, and he's that kind of young man, and and we rode his shoulders on that last drive and got the win. And, and you know, we, we have some very special young men. Our defense played much, much better in the first half. Of course, third quarter got a little tired because we didn't help them offensively by keeping them off the field. But, you know, we did what it, what it took to win the football game. And, and uh, we're just happy, 1-0 in conference. A game like this, there's so many plays that kind of, you know, fill your mind. But one that stuck out to me was the one that um, – that Calhoun made to force the fumble right at that one yard line because they were going in for a touchdown and instead you got it back and it seemed like at that point you know it was really one of those potential plays that, that saved you from going down by 10. And yeah it was probably the it was probably the play of the game mm -hmm. you know they make a big play and he's you know he's Johnny on the spot to strip the ball and you know we recover and what what a what an incredible young man he is and what a game that that all those guys played so just a total team effort. Special teams played well tonight. Right. Having John Michelle's back, you know, place kicking was huge. Finally got some injured guys back. So we're, we're happy to be 1-0, and, and and we're just excited about the next seven. And Darnell Williams, two 80-plus two yard plays, a kickoff return, and then that big touchdown reception after the Calhoun fumble. He, he's, a, he's an amazing athlete. Just getting the ball in his hands is dangerous. And, uh, you know, he and Demario Palmer both are just two phenomenal pickups that we got in the offseason and, and really feel like that you know down the stretch they're going to be they're going to be huge for us let's talk about just this win in the context of the season i know you know you take things one game at a time but if you don't win this game it's a whole different feel. well it's a whole different mindset it's a whole different mentality you're oh and two coming in you're oh and three if you don't get the win now you got the whole mental part of the uh, of w what winning is you know you play close but in the end can you finish so for for us to finish tonight with a w is huge and, and uh, i think it'll go a long way in, in developing a young team you know again we're we're playing eight young guys on on defense with with inexperience and then you know starting four sophomores in the offensive line very good sophomores but young and game experience is, is what helps us so Again, we, we feel very good about where we're, where we're headed and got a tough opponent next week. We'll enjoy this tonight and go to work tomorrow on Mayor Harden Baylor.